about travel and fashion so if you're into those link things then stick around please like and subscribe so i know and comment and say hello i'd love to say hi to you guys too um and yeah this is a thrift and vintage haul video these things are very autumny autumnal the first thing we've got is this cardigan which is absolutely beautiful and it's like my there's my favorite thing that i bought in a very long time i didn't i bought this like a few months ago actually um from depop and usually i don't look like going on depop because i find it to be more expensive and i prefer vintage or going to a charity shop but this was 20 quid which is the most expensive thing i've got out of all these things um but it's 100 percent cashmere originally from uh marks and spencer's autograph bougie um originally from hobbs which again is like one of those it's like a posh a posh lady shop <laughs> like i don't feel like i'm bougie enough a lovely forest green color and it has these sleeves that kind of flute out slightly and it's not thick thick but it's not thin either like you can tell it's good quality but it's like layerable very good for autumn um and i really really love the color of it i think it's very pretty um and i'm gonna do a do la, la, la. <laughs> i'm gonna do a little diy on this to change the neckline because i'm not i don't mind a neckline but my favorite neckline can easily be done from this kind of material so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna show you the thing i got from vintage recently i love vintage it is this it is this really gorgeous black velvet blazer and if you know me you know this is literally fee in a blazer it's stunning and guess how much this cost i'm gonna let you guess i'm gonna give you a second five pounds five pounds like what can you honestly buy five pounds that's not even fish and chips cost more than five pounds stunning and it has pockets it has a really nice button on the front. Let me just show you there quickly. Right, I'm gonna do this just as there'll be dry on the bit <laughs> here somewhere. Um, but I love, I love this a lot. I have a lot of time for this. Um, and I found this really cool vintage shirt. It is polyester, but it's, I don't know, for some reason, I usually don't like polyester, but this is actually really quite breathable. Don't know why. Um, and it's got these lovely pearl buttons that i adore and it's just very very i feel like i'm aunt vivian aunt viv from first quick the ballet when i wear this tucked into high waist in mum jeans i'm going to show you the whole look that i'm talking about in the moment <laughs> i just feel so cool like it's just it's so cool that's all i've got to say it's the coolest thing ever um and i love it it was six pounds fifty and it is just oversized fabulousness and i feel like aunt viv i feel like a bougie black woman in the 90s and i'm here i feel like aunt viv or if any of you guys watch sister 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 sister's mum tia's mum tia's mum was it tamara i think it's tia Tia's mum, I felt like her, and she was my style icon. I've been going a bit crazy with blazers, I don't really know why, because I'm not usually a blazer person, but I just have become obsessed this year, I don't really know why. I just think they make you look more put together, I guess, like when you're going out to dinner and things like that, and I just think they're nice, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I got this one. I shouldn't look that different, but the angle might be. <laughs> um, but I just had to go and do something else for a bit, and I am now back. So I thought I would show you the last bit that I have. So I've shown you my blazer, I think. So I'm just going to show you a few bits of like homeware stuff that I got. So this is a trinket kind of bowl slash. You can have this as a fruit bowl, anything you want, really. But I saw it and I was just like, <laughs> that is beautiful. It really fits the theme colours of my room. My room has quite a lot of greens, pinks and yellows. Um, because those are some of my favourite colours. 
and I love this because it looks very art deco f three pounds from Sue Ryder's retro and vintage section. I love Sue Ryder, I've decided it's my fave. <laughs> um I love, 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 love this so much. And it currently has all my skincare bits within it. I just took them out for the purposes of this video. Um and then next I have a little trinket box if I can find it. Ah, it's here. This is so cute and diddy. Look at it. It's just lined with red velvet. Again, as you can tell, I love velvet. I just thought this was so cute and I could put little uh, stud earrings in here, my little favourite earrings. I mean, I've already got something very similar to this, um, which I thought would match really well, which has little daisies in it. And this was from Evolution. Um, and I thought they would match quite well. I think they look very cute together. Um, just because I love anything with pressed flowers. I just think it's so pretty and it's delicate so next i got a scarf um and it looks like this oh, i just love love the colors of this scarf it's so pretty i love this really deep chocolate brown this like sort of it feels like it has like soft green but that's just the color that's kind of created here so like a soft green like a soft blue soft red and some yellows but it's just so autumny have you ever seen a scarf more autumny than this like i'm gonna put it on it's so cute it's quite small but like it just feels really warm <laughs> and i feel like T ted baker no tom baker from doctor who Ooh. right so uh, lastly i wanted to show you some books these aren't all from charity shop so i'm cheating but um i've got some new books i wanted to show you because i love reading and I thought, why not stick it on the end here? And I also have one more thing, which is not from Charity Shop. But we're going to show you anyway. <laughs> so these books here. Um, one is from Charity Shop. So we're going to show you that one first. And it's this really pretty edition of Winnie the Pooh, The House at Pooh Corner. Um, and I just thought it was so pretty. Like, illustrated. Has a map of um the hundred acre wood oh it's so cute from tk max i got this basically tk max have started stocking penguin cloth bound editions so if you are collect a collector of these like me <laughs> um i've only got three so far but i love these editions they're so pretty like this this is a T tales from 1001 nights um and I just love it. It has Aladdin stories in here, it has Sinbad in here, um, and other tales are lesser known from Arabian Nights. Um, and I think it is beautiful. Like I absolutely love, I love it. Like the pages are quite thin, I will say. Um, I just, I love these editions though. They're so, so pretty. They're great if you're a collector. I'll show you a bit close up. And this is stunning this is like the prettiest one i have then for the two books that i got completely new um and that i went to this shop called the little apple bookshop it's an independent bookshop in york if you live in york then you might know it um but i absolutely loved it in there it was really cute they're really friendly um and i got two books so the first one i got was the science of the girls by pat barker and this is a retelling of the Trojan War from the perspective of the women who were held hostage and pillaged and abused and hurt during that period. And it's told from um, Brasilis' um, perspective, uh, perspective, who is basically forced to be a bed slave to Achilles during the Trojan War. Achilles was like the leading Greek um, who pillaged Troy during the Trojan War, if you're not familiar. And if you've read the Song of Achilles, you'll know all about um, Brasilis as well, from that perspective. Um, so if you're not familiar with the Song of Achilles, that's actually a book by Madeleine Miller, so a different author to this. But it tells the same like sort of timeline of events to this, but from the Greek's perspective. So if you want an opposing perspective of this, then read the Song of Achilles too. Um, that's why I was interested in reading this, because I love reading about Greek mythology um, and especially from the perspective of women. So we have Yar Gyasi's Transcending Kingdom. This is from the author of Homegoing 
Um, I loved Homecoming. That came out a few years ago and is um, a story all about two sisters who experienced slavery in very different ways and it's a gener generational impact of slavery on both of their family like bloodlines basically throughout years and years um, and how that impacts them. Uh, it's an absolutely amazing book. It's honestly epic. It's one of my favourite books of all time that I've ever read. Um, so I had to read this because it's by the same author and this is the second book she's come out with. <laughs> and oh yeah, this cover is stunning. Really happy and excited to have that. Um, and with that, I have one more thing I really wanted to show you. And it is this mug. <laughs> uh, I got this mug from Oliver Bonus. And it was very, very spenny. £14 for a mug. Day like robbery. <laughs> £14. Can you see that? Um, but it was just so pretty. It was the only thing I got from Oliver Bonus. Um, actually, that's a lie. I got something online. Let me show you. Gold plated and it has this all fresh water pearls on it. And it, I thought this would be really nice for layering with another necklace I have. I've got this little necklace that has a moon on. And I thought I could layer those two together and that would look really sweet. This is in a sale, it was like £10 I think, or £11. And I thought that was really, really pretty. My lover's name, my damn life. <laughs> so if you're into that, I'll link that down below. And that is everything I have bought recently from the charity shop, from the bookshop, from all the bonus apparently <laughs> um yeah i hope you guys liked this video if you did let me know down below what your favorite thing was i think my favorite thing is all of it <laughs> pretty much um genuinely love every single thing um maybe my favorite 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 thing if i had to choose is my cardigan um because it's so soft and cashmere and lovely and also my velvet blazer because I've wanted one of these that boys for so long. Um, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe because there's going to be lots of charm shop thrifles on the channel because that's mainly where I shop these days um, and I'm vinted. So let me know if you want more videos like this. I'd be happy to oblige. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care and see you soon. Bye.